thank you everyone for standing in solidarity with the people of El Salvador. Woo! With the land acknowledgement. We are currently on the land of the Wea. We are peoples continue to remain in relationship to these lands through ceremony, culture, and stewardship. My name is Clara, and I'm the founder of Eagle Social Justice. <clears throat> I organized this protest for several reasons. To address the multiple issues going on in El Salvador, where my family's from, and there has been, never been a protest for El Salvador in Humboldt. There is a Salvadorian community here. I've met several of them. And now for the very first time, there will be a Salvadorian restaurant grand opening this weekend right here in Arcata. Woo! 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 Third, uh, I might as well make it my senior project at Cal Poly Humboldt. Yeah! The world is filled with issues, but I'd like to just take a moment to, to center El Salvador. Starting with a little history. Of course, there's been mass genocides of the indigenous peoples. Well, they forced them to adopt Spanish cultures and work as slaves in coffee and banana plantations. The U.S. was importing these goods, keeping 80% of the profits, where El Salvador stayed poor and the, the, and the people starved, so they rebelled. People fled to the U.S., including my family, and, this, and that is why I am standing here in front of you today. Currently, the U.S. is still controlling much of the country, where there are a wide variety of social and environmental issues. El Salvador is the most dangerous country in the Americas to be a woman. Femicides and domestic violence, women don't have rights. Abortion is illegal, and they imprison you if you have one, even if it's not the woman's fault that the, ba the baby didn't make it. Water is a big issue. There's drought for one, and the water isn't clean because companies like Coca-Cola are extracting it and leaving the rivers contaminated. The water is privatized and only 40% of the country have access. Of course, it's those with money. The Salvadorian government refuses to recognize that indigenous peoples exist within their borders. They are in violation of UNDRIP, the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People. According to this declaration, all indigenous peoples must be recognized and given access to clean water and safe living conditions. The LGBTQ community out there are in danger too, legally and socially. Only just recently, there's been little advancements here and there, but not much, like governmental protection against discrimination, but who knows how efficient that is. The community is rising up, so it's up and coming. Being such a poor country, there is not much privilege to care about the environment. I will say, though, that they are making little attempts to improve it from radio announcements, billboards, school education, and more. It's still an, it's still an issue. Environmental justice for all. Woo! <laughs> On the topic of race, there is racism. Salvadorian borders. Afro Salvadorians exist. The descendants of the sub Saharan Africans brought over via the transatlantic slave trade. With colonization, the people have been taught to be racist to their own people. They must be seen and empowered because Black Lives Matter. Now let's talk about Bitcoin as a national currency in El Salvador. The people have protested against it many times because of the instability which is catastrophic for those already in poverty. Not all have access to the technology to use it, and there's high potential for money laundering and other illicit uses. The most vulnerable would be negatively impacted, so we say no to Bitcoin. So no wonder with all these issues there are hundreds, maybe thousands at the border trying to get into the U.S. I feel so, so privileged to be here, even though I long to be on my land. Immigration rights are human rights. In conclusion, we demand justice for El Salvador. Thank you again, everyone. I'm really trying not to cry. It's so beautiful to see all of you. Don't be a shy. Don't be shy to approach me at the table for anything at all. I'll be hosting a Justice for El Salvador art exhibit right
right next to Brainwash Thrift in two weeks on April 21st, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m., where I'll be displaying my photography and other art. You can follow at Eco Social Justice on Instagram to stay in touch. Thank you. Uh, it's going to be open mic now, so if anyone wants to.